Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today I have got a children's clothing haul. So if you're not into that kind of thing, if you're not into kid videos, absolutely fine. Feel free to click off. I shan't be offended. Um, not everyone's into looking at cute little boys' clothes, and I get that. Uh, but yes, today I've got um, a small club or the small club haul to share with you. This is my second haul video that you might have seen but it's like the third or fourth time I've bought for, from them um I don't always haul everything um but yeah this time I'm sitting down and I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it um if you've not heard of them before I originally found them through Instagram a lady that I follow um did an insta story haul of children's clothing and and recommended them and I went and checked them out and basically they're a company up north they sell mostly lightly used children's clothes a lot of the stuff on the website is actually new um but i think their general vibe is you know reduce waste you know clothing waste and that kind of thing so yeah and it's all really reasonable really priced i think the other you know the other times i've been you know got some really big brands you know i've bought ted baker from them lots of gap things um jewels uh, but they do you know all kind of all kind of ranges of stuff but they're all really reasonably priced um so yes yeah, so we're getting to the point now reuben has very recently turned 18 months old um reuben has very long legs but a skinny waist so um he really like i bought him um some next this next jogging jogger set thing and the length is perfect but the waist is too big so when he ran in them they fell down a bit but we're getting to a point where we're almost ready for the next size up so I picked up some really cute bits right let's jump in I got this really cute monster sweater sweatshirt is that what you'd call it it's really cute I, you know it'd be amazing um for going to the park on a play day or going to toddler group we've recently started going to this new toddler group he loves it um but you definitely get messy because they have finger paints and play equipment and they can get into all sorts of mischief there um this one is originally from mother care um but yeah it's really cute i really like that and then we've got a little shirt this one is from zara boys or zara baby boy just a really cute one going into like late spring or even you know now with a cardigan or a jumper over the top but i thought that was cute there's a lot of denim i like i do like reuben in jeans bless him um again great for playing because they're hard even though obviously reuben is a very good walker he's been he walked really early he does have this tendency at our park where the, or our local park where the slide is, there's like bark and he will just get, you get to a certain point and he'll just crawl to get there and yeah. So jeans are always good for that kind of thing. So I've got a little pair of blue next jeans. I thought they were cute. And there, I can't help myself with things like this. I know a lot of people hate them um these are just um they're m and co but they're so cute like red cords reuben's also got a green pair of cords and a mustard pair of cords i just i just love them i think they're really cute little boys in cords it's, it's sweet uh the next thing i've got is a pair of denim dungarees oh, i think these are really cute um i think you'll look very sweet. Uh, I have a pair of denim dungarees and many a time I have been known to put Ruben in his with a stripy top and me and mine with a stripy top um, because obviously I'm not going to get away with it. I think you get away with it a lot longer with little girls than you do with little boys. I can't remember what brand these are. Do we have a label? No, no label on those. But yeah. Just a cute pair of dungarees. And then, you know, hoping for a warm spring, early summer. Little denim pair of shorts. 
very sweet these are from Sainsbury's thought they were cute and I really like the ones with the buttons inside Marks and Spencer's does this so you know because unlike me John um, John unlike me Reuben has a skinny waist um, but long legs so um, we've got a lot of trousers that have the same fitting so you can tuck it in a little bit more so it's fitted around his waist but yeah nice pair of shorts and then oh this is so sweet this little blue polka dot short sleeve shirt um authentic heritage edition junior j junior j i don't know but i just thought it was sweet really cute then i got a little jumper with a london bus on being driven by a dog which i think ruin will find is really funny this is actually by baby bowden this is slightly too big for Ruben. this is age two to three and he's like you know he should be 18 to 24 months but um i kind of thought oh, well i'll get that and that could be put away for like autumn i just thought it's that thing because they only have one of every item if you see it you kind of got to get it because when I put all of this in the basket I put a Ted Baker jumper in my basket and I literally went off bathed Reuben put him to bed and when I got back on you know went back to it the Ted Baker jumper thing had been bought by somebody else so you do have to move quickly if there's something that you very like to ensure you get it but yeah little Bowden long sleeve thing and then this is so cute so it's like Mummy's little star on the front and then stripes on the back. And that is from Next. And then we got, we've got quite a lot of these. These are from Gap. So they do the checkered shirt, but it goes into like a body vest thing. So you don't have to worry about them pulling up. I just thought again, really nice colours for spring. Um, let's say you can see I'm hopeful for some some sunshine um i got this one i thought was really cute this is a little ted baker t-shirt um with the palm leaves on but yeah it's like uh it's coming up quite pink on camera it's more of a maroony um mauve mauve is that the right word but even if it was bright pink i wouldn't have an issue with it i don't i'm not one of those people i'm like boys can't wear pink my husband if you don't know john wears pink quite a lot and then I got him a hoodie and he's never had a hoodie before um and it's not normally something I would put on ribbon because he normally wears like if it's that cold you'd put a coat on him but it's by the brand animal and I have a blue animal hoodie and I'm like twinsies I know I know you see all the it's really strange because I always envisioned from the mo even before we were pregnant Reuben was a boy like I was convinced my first would be a, be a little boy you know when we went to go and have our embryo transfer I literally said to John let's go pick up our little boy I just had a feeling just had a feeling that Reuben was gonna be a boy and um that's not because I not because I'm saying I, I don't I didn't want a daughter I just had a feeling that that's what what we were going to have and if we end up only having Reuben that's such a blessing we went through such a journey to get him it's still such a massive blessing and I, but I must admit I do have those moments when I see like these little girls with their mummies and their like little matching coordinate coordinated outfits and I'm like <laughs> and you know I think there's a there's a lifespan on all of that you know all kids get to a certain point and they're like no mama I am not wearing that um but I kind of get the impression that little girls are easier to do the matchy matchy thing for a bit longer than little boys I don't know luckily I wear a lot of blue and dungarees so hopefully Ruben will let me get away with it for a while but yeah when I saw this and I've got one that's the same shade blue it's a different animal logo but yeah I was like we'll get that it's very very surfery very cornwall vibe like that with the denim pair of shorts is is kind of 
is like what most men locally wear. <laughs> uh, a surfer hoodie, pair of shorts and some flip-flops is, is kind of like the Cornish lad uniform. It just is. Anyway, that is my rambly haul. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Comment, subscribe, share, all of that stuff. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye, guys.